makes a play. But second down for BC. They'll have to go long field as Connor got in there first. Spun him around. Jerkovic somehow stays upright. And Yo, what is happening? What is going on? I hope you're doing well. And it's been way too long, man. I'm sorry. I've been, you know, trying to get over this sickness. I'm, I'm there. We're ready to go. You know, get my voice back and everything like that. My lungs, man. They've been all crazy and stuff. I, like, I feel like I spoke a fat pad of grass and fall on my ass faster than, you know, the rest, man. <laughs> anyway, I was like, the, my first rap song I ever learned. My name is, dude. That was some vibes. Those were the days, man. But, yo, I hope you're vibing. I hope you're cool. My name's G Sling. I'm doing my thing, and uh, we are back with another scouting report. This time, Phil Jerkovic, man, and I love Phil Jerkovic. He's one of my favorites from last year of Super High, but he got that injury. But this year, he is back, healthy, and ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and see what he's all about, and talk about some pros and some cons, what he needs to work on because he's got one or two obvious flaws, and if he can fix those things, man, I think he can be a really, really good prospect. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Phil Jerkovic, what's so great about this guy? He's a freaking playmaker. Like, you just see it on and off the field. Like, it doesn't matter if players aren't open. He has some of the best ball placement in this draft class. Maybe not quite up there with Bryce Young or nothing, but dude, his ball placement is on point. He's going to throw people open, and whether it's on the run, you can't tackle this guy. And I know Big Ben throws. There's a lot of comps out there for Big Ben Roethlisberger, and it's for a reason, because this guy, yes, he's six foot five, 226. Just imagine if he puts on a little bit more weight, with that speed that he has, like the dude legit is probably like a 4'6", four, 4'7 four, guy. At least he plays like that. He is so difficult to tackle. But he is such a playmaker, man. And he's got that it factor. It's just like that innate ability when you watch him. It's that natural feel and like overall ability in the foot, foot football like you just know it when you see it it's hard to explain but to me that's Phil Jerkovic and that's one of the reasons why I'm a huge fan of his and that's one of my biggest knocks on like CJ Stroud I want to see him get a little bit more natural with the overall game I think Phil Jerkovic is a lot more natural less robotic and when he goes through when he has to read his go through his progressions he can do that at a high level I've seen so many plays where he's you know trying to read off defenders and doing all that stuff and just he, he's really good at scanning overall the field he'll make some bad decisions and whatnot and that's on every quarterback and there's times where he'll go through a couple boneheaded tries but overall I think he does it at a high level and lastly I want to touch on him with his positives is he has so much upside if he can fix some of these bad things these things I want to talk about right now which first is his release and his footwork. I want to talk about these two things because if he can fix these two things, I think it'll answer a lot of the questions and a lot of the issues that we talk about with Phil Jerkovic and not being maybe a first round talent or even a top 10 talent with his release. He's got like this, first off, he's very high. You know, Aaron Rodgers back in the college days, he was really high. Now he was really high. Phil Jerkovic may not be that high, but he's pretty dang high up there. And he's got this little hitch in his arm too. And that is something where Aaron Rodgers, you go back to his high school days and he didn't really have that. And I think that was something they coached at Cal. I think at Boston College, you go back and look at Phil Jerkovic in high school, I do think he had the hitch and more of the high notion at college. Maybe it wasn't as high, but that's something he has to work on, man. He has to lower it, and he's going to have to work on that hitch. If he can kind of, you know, tighten up that release and get more of a zip on the ball, and this is one thing I'll say, he throws on the back foot so many times. Like, he's his all of his weight is on his back foot. He needs to learn to be able to move his body and, and transfer his weight over it. Like, he needs to go play golf or something. Like, transfer his weight to his front side. It's just mind-boggling. If he can fix that, man, I'm telling you, it's just the mechanical issues which cause a lot of the accuracy concerns too because, you know, accuracy is a bit of an issue with him and I kind of, I didn't really mention that per se, but I do want to mention it. Like, there's been multiple times where, again, his accuracy is off and I think that is because of his mechanics. They're just really, really wonky combined with his release and his overall footwork. If he can fix those two things, which are fixable, it takes a lot of work, but I think his processing and overall understanding of the game is there, which is one of the hardest hardest things to really fix. You know what I mean? Like that is one of the things you just need to know with football. I think Phil Jerkovic has that ability. He needs to fix these things and whether or not he can do it is going to be depending on his work ethic, which I do think he has. And you know, as arm strength, this is something I see in comments and being talked about with Phil Jerkovic is does he have the arm strength? Because you see the ball fall flat on him several times, several throws. I do think he has the arm strength. I think it's tied in with the fact that it's his footwork throwing off the back foot so many times. When you have so much power on your right foot and you're not transferring that way, that is going to affect your, your overall velocity and zip on the throw. So that is to me, it overall, it kind of ties itself all in there. Those to me, if he can fix those things, 
he, he can be a legit first round prospect, like a legit top 10 pick. I, I believe that with his overall skills. Another thing is we talked about this was he gets the ball really quick. I don't know if I did I talk about this. I don't know. I'm, I'm forgetting a little bit, but either way, he gets the ball out quickly, which is really good. Like he doesn't take a whole ton of sacks as also because his ability to escape. He's really tough to tackle, but he will make some bad decisions because of it. And there were times on film where it's like, what are you doing? Phil are just throwing, you know, like the, he did the Malik Willis thing where he's doing the 360 and throwing it away, trying to do something the crazy and stuff like that that will get you in trouble you have to be a little more careful with that phil but overall man yes the tape isn't perfect but this guy excites me i love watching his game and i really believe that he has the overall tools to be a really really good nfl starter it just gotta fix those things man the release and the overall footwork fix those two things and this dude could be a legit prospect but for me right now there's a wide range of spectrums he could go between the first and third for me i like him in the first round because i see that upside and that ability but i would say more reasonably he's in the second third round conversation at this moment that's phil jerkovic let me know what you think of phil jerkovic I, I'm, I'm rooting for this guy. I'm hoping he comes back from this injury and really dominates this season at Boston College. It's going to be a fun, a fun season. Anyway, that's going to be it here for Vil Dracovic. I hope everyone has a great day. My name's G-Sling. I'm doing my thing, and I'll talk to you later.